morning everybody welcome to my channel welcome back rather it's your girl Erica Yolanda and I'm coming to you guys with my Sunday morning meal prep I always say that I do my steak and eggs I make one big pan of steak and eggs on Sundays and it lasts me the whole week whether my family's eating it I'm eating it I grab it for breakfast grab it for lunch dinner it does not matter I make it and so I'm bringing it to y'all today excuse me I got my bonnet on I got my robe and my nightgown on I'll close it up so I don't scan on y'all but um yeah let's get to it i told y'all this video is unsponsored so excuse me this is extra virgin olive oil organic that i use in my house i got my um pan spray so you need to spray your little pan so it don't stick to the pan so i already sprayed the pan i got my eggs over here and i got my um onions and peppers mix that i use i usually cut up fresh onions and peppers however the soil was running a little low, so I was like, you know what, I like to use these, so let's do it. I got my pan over here, my pot, my cast iron pot. Excuse me, my little arm um, engine. I got this glass stove, so excuse me. And I got my cast iron pot on. And it's ready. It's hot. Oh, let me cut my fan on. Can't cook if that fan ain't on. Alright. Now, get my little thing going over here. I always tell y'all, wash your hands, wash your hands, got to have a clean kitchen, wash your hands. You walk around here with no nasty kitchen, get them people salmonella and everything. I'm going to pour the vegetables into it. How old is this? So we got mixed peppers. Um, Mixed bell peppers, it's onion blend. You know I forgot to get seasoning salt when I went to the store yesterday. I got you. So I don't have no seasoning salt. Because I don't use salt, but I use seasoning salt. And I forgot to use my seasoning, get seasoning salt yesterday at the store. I'm not going to put a whole lot of onions and peppers because I make one pan. And y'all, Tamara is filming me, so I don't know how close she is to me. I can't see myself. Usually when I can see myself, I feel better. I can't see myself in this one. So we got the onions and peppers going, so I'm going to put the onions and peppers. Let those stir up. And it's okay to buy frozen onions and peppers. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And 
stir these up. I don't put these down too much because they're going to continue to cook when I put them in the oven. And this is my Saturday morning dry look and everything. They're going to cook when I put them in the oven. But you know what? I think, I think oh. I'm going to do something. Because I don't know about y'all, I know a lot of people y'all cute and I don't eat onions and eh, onions. Well, your girl love onions. So I'm gonna cut up some old onions in there, some fresh onions. Because I love onions. And that's a good pepper. Especially when it comes to the green and the yellow, the sweets. But your girl love a good onion. I'm an onion nista, I guess you would say. I ain't that cute girl that's quiet to eat and be like, oh, I'm not gonna order onions. I'm that one. You need my onions, please? Some real onions on the side. And I'm sorry y'all not gonna see much of me in this video. But I just wanted to show y'all this because I always talk about my Sunday meal prep. And this is keto and Atkins friendly. I follow a keto Atkins type um, routine in my house. And I'm wait. I'm gonna sit down one day and tell y'all about that. I said I'm gonna sit down and tell y'all about my diet and how I eat and why I eat that way. I'm gonna get there. Bear with me, y'all. I told y'all October I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna incorporate more cooking and more meat. And let's check in video. So, yep. We eat that whole onion right up in there. There we go. Some onions. Now it just started smelling that much better. Now I go in with my real pepper. Y'all, I cook pepper. I put everything in pepper. Yes, you can call me paprika. <laughs> get it? Pep Erica? Paprika? Y'all ain't get it. It's okay. Black pepper, McCor. All right, there we go. And again, I took off these. Different types of 
say, now when I'm at Publix, I had been in Publix for about a week or two, but what I typically do is get Publix to cut me some fresh, um, some fresh roast beef or some fresh prime rib meat out of the deli, and then I'll use that with my steak and eggs. Because I have not been to Publix this week, Steakums is just as good, y'all. Here we go. 100% beef, not sponsored. Okay, so that's what I will be using today. My steakums. Don't come for me and my steak and eggs because I told y'all. The little pieces like to slap out so I'll just pull it over and over the pan. Because I don't like the little pieces on my meat. these little flaps of meat. By the time they cook down, you don't got a whole lot of nothing. I brought the, uh, I think the eight pack, the one that makes up the eight, about seven or something. This up, see how he's making his own grease and juice. I drain all that off before I start to um, even season it because if I season it while it still has that on there, it's gonna be pointless because all the season is gonna just drip out. So I let it cook down and get all of that juice. Making a big pan if I'm expecting company or something. Who am I kidding? I never expect company. But when I'm just being greedy and making a big pan, I'll buy the bigger pack of steakums. But like I said, I like to go to Publix and get them to cut me some fresh roast beef. And man, it cooks down. And I pair this in the morning. I might eat this by itself because it'll be steak and egg. I might make me some grits. Or I might even eat it with some oatmeal. And I eat it like that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it gets you all the protein. If you fall on the Atkins or a keto diet, you're going to get all the protein that you need. See all that juice? safe because there's a lot of popping grease. I'm 
so I'm gonna cook a little different. I'm talking about the cooking style. Everybody got their own cooking style. At the end of the day, we all got a can that we put this grease in, so don't come for me. My kitchen clean. My stove about to be clean again in a minute as soon as I wipe it down. But there's a, there's a, there's a reason for all of this madness. Organic eggs. 
Bob Ray. Bob Ray, excuse me. Wow. Cage with a. I know y'all be like, they have to say in it. So this is what I do. Look, look at those whisking skills. I take the um, I lay, I take a layer. I sprayed this pan already as well, which I'm non-stick, so it doesn't stick to the pan. Again, if you didn't see it, Pam. So I take it up, do a layer of meat. All right. Meat. I brought this to Gento yesterday. So much. And I used the sharp cheddar because it has the saltiest catch to it. And I put a layer of cheese. I don't know how many of y'all like cheese, but you're going to get your protein inside the cheese as well. And cheese. Alright, and I'm going to put a layer of cheese there. And I go in, I put your hands up my cheese. Mm -hmm. And I put the eggs. And I put your eggs. When I worked in the building, I packed my lunch every day. I packed my breakfast. Um, there is a sugar-free bread that has no carbs in it. I make breakfast sandwiches out of that. I would make like make it like French toast in the morning and put turkey sausage and cheese on it. And it already was soaking in the egg. And that was, I would eat a half a sandwich. That was my breakfast. I wasn't spending all that money on Starbucks, McDonald's, and all the places because not only is it not healthy for you, but it's costing you a fortune. 2005, I never forget, I itemized my taxes. I was a single woman and I was trying to save a dime. I was saying one of my check. I calculated my lunch itself was $2,500. 2005, I spent, I spent, spent $2,500 on lunch. Lunch was way cheaper back then than it is 15 years later. The average, you go to Dunkin' Donuts right now for a breakfast sandwich, you gonna spend about six, seven dollars. That's if you want coffee, and I gotta have my coffee. Back to this. Now I've got the last layer of meat on there and I'm putting the last layer of cheese. And like I said, it's up to y'all on how y'all want because what I do when I heat it up with my, if I'm eating it with grits or oatmeal, I don't have to have a whole lot of cheese. And my daughter, they'll add, she'll add her own cheese to it. And it'll be that. And I, and, and I might make some Jim and Nick's biscuits today. I might not. Probably need it more tonight than am. But yeah, so. Get it covered with the cheese, and I got it on the oven in the oven for 400, and I always set it for 30 minutes. It does not take 30 minutes to cook because you know eggs don't take that long. However, I put it on 30 minutes because it is also based off of you and how you want your eggs. Some people like them runny, Auntie Sherry. Um, I like mine burnt, but um, it's all on you and your desire. I put a little pepper on the top, and I put it in the oven and let it go. I set my, and you can put a top on it if you want, 
I put throw some plastic on it. I don't waste that kind of plastic. I set my timer. 30 minutes and we out. So with that being said, can you see me good on that side, Mara? Yep. All right, with that being said, that is my Sunday morning steak and eggs that lasts a whole week. I ate, I made one last Sunday and I ate the last of it Friday night. <laughs> Friday night for dinner, I ate the last of it. So you guys, thank you. I am going, I'm sorry I look a mess, but I'm not sorry because it's morning and it's Sunday morning and I'm not doing nothing today. I did brush my teeth, wash my face, and put my bonnet on so I didn't get no hand in food. Um, with that being said, it's your girl and your, her sidekick, Kamara. She's here for the... T and, um, again, October, Lord's Fair, I'm going to bring better content. I'm going to add more cooking. And the first thing I'm going to do is make that macaroni and cheese for my girl, Joe. I got you, girl. I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese just for you. And I'm going to show y'all how I put a fit on it while I'm here. Hold on. Forgive my cabinet. These are the noodles that I use. You cannot tell that these are not um, regular macaroni and cheese noodles unless I show y'all the box. I've taken macaroni salad and macaroni and cheese to many functions and they did not know that they were eating healthy noodles. So those are the noodles. I keep these. I keep the spaghetti noodles just like that in my cabinet. Don't hate on my cabinet. And with that being said, I am out. Kamara, hit the button. See y'all next time, Mr. Creek Don't Rise. Bye.